Hey my friends, Andrew from IDB here. Sataki has announced a new charger. This is similar to ones we've seen in the past, like the Anchor Power Port Plus that had five different ports on there. What's really great about this is it has USB-C, but at a higher wattage to power more machines than we've seen in the past. There are also a lot of other really nice smart features. For instance, it has 75 watts of total output. Of course, that is split between the four ports that you have, including the USB-C power delivery port, which can support fast charge on an iPhone or 60 watts of power going to your Mac. I also really like the look of this. Now it isn't necessarily aluminum like the other chargers in Sataki's lineup. It is definitely made out of plastic, but it does have that same look and appearance to really blend in with Apple's ecosystem. If you choose to pick one up, inside the box you'll find the actual power adapter itself, the charger, and then a separate power cable. Now compared to Anker's that we looked at in the past, that is actually connected and you can't take it off. So in this case, if something would ever happen to your power cable, it's no big deal because these are, it's a standard power cable. You can go pick up a new one for a couple of dollars, plug it in and you're good to go again. As far as ports go, you're going to see we have two USB ports on the bottom with 2.4 amps. Then we have a Qualcomm Quick Charge 3 port, which is still USB, just a lot faster for any Android devices that support that. And on top, we have the USB-C port, which again, supports power delivery at up to 60 watts of power. When everything is plugged in, it can handle a total of 75 watts, which is still pretty good if you have something as powerful as a laptop plugged into the top. You can use this, of course, as a lightning cable for your iPhone or your iPad, charging them much, much quicker. But of course, you do need Apple's USB-C to lightning cable because they're the only ones that make it. There definitely is a trade-off with this device compared to the other ones on the market. If you look at the PowerPort Plus, pretty much the only main one that I'd otherwise recommend, you get one more USB port on that one. Someone has five outputs, and this one only has four. But the Anchor one only has 30, maybe, watts of output on USB-C. If you have a 13-inch MacBook Pro or a 15-inch MacBook Pro, you're going to need more than 15 or 30 watts of output. When you plug in your MacBook Pro here, if you have a 13-inch, you're pretty much set, you're good. If you got a 15-inch Pro, it's going to be a little bit underpowered, but as long as you're not doing anything crazy, you're still going to get 60 watts, and it's going to be more than enough for what you're going to need to do. I really like this guy, and if you want to pick one up for yourself, you can find the link below in the description. And I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys like this or Anchor's PowerPort Plus down below in the comments? Let us know your favorite. Otherwise, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.